This is the Motorola Edge 2024 disassembly. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Also, if you need any tools, there are links in the description. As always, we'll remove the SIM tray first. Looking at the SIM tray, we can see a black rubber gasket around the opening. Now heat needs to be applied to the back cover using either a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back cover off. Here's a look at the vegan leather back cover. The LED flash board is located here. As for the glass camera lens covers, those can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace those. Now the graphite film over the speaker assembly needs to be peeled off or lifted over. At this point, there are 16 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Taking a look at the top plastic cover, we can see numerous antenna lines drawn which are the light gray color lines including the NFC antenna in the center. We also have a look at the wireless charging coil, which sits over the battery. There's additional graphite film to help transfer heat. These contact on the secondary board, contact and make a connection with the flex cable for the wireless charging coil. Now the cables for the battery can be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. The coaxial cables on the bottom right side of the board can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the main board. So taking a look at the main board, we see a 50 megapixel primary camera and a 30 megapixel ultra wide and macro vision lens. The primary camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. As for the camera connectors, those can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a secondary microphone on the top corner and some copper tape and graphite film over the shield to help transfer heat. Looking at the other side, we see the 32 megapixel front facing camera, the proximity sensor, as well as additional copper tape and thermal paste to help transfer heat. Once the copper film has been peeled back, we can see thermal paste on top of the processor, as well as these chips. As for removing the battery, there are no pull tabs provided to help you pry the battery off, so you're going to have to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply it to the edges of the battery and let it sit for about 20-30 seconds, 
So we need to weigh out the adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry it off. This is the 5000 milliamp hour battery. Now that the battery has been removed, we can see this flex cable which connects the main board to the sub or sim board, as well as the charger port board. We also see the flex cable for the screen which is routed through an opening in the mid frame. So if you needed to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back cover, the screws on the top plastic cover and the cover itself, giving access to the screen cable, at which point you disconnect the battery cables and the screen cable, pry the battery off, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the whole screen off, apply new adhesive and reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame, and reassemble the phone. There's a single Phillips screw which needs to be removed. Looking at the sim reader board, we can see a liquid damage indicator sticker which is that white sticker. On the other side we see the sim reader itself. As for the charger port board, the primary microphone is located underneath this cover shield, and there's a red rubber gasket around the charger port. Here's a look at the other side. This is the bottom speaker assembly. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner which is held down with some adhesive and the same goes for the fingerprint scanner. If you need to replace either of those just apply some heat and gently pry them off. There's also an antenna board on the bottom corner which the white coaxial cable is connected to. As for the volume and power buttons, if you need to replace the flex cable for that you'd actually have to pry the screen off as well. Since the flex cable for the screen is right up to an opening in the mid frame and it requires you to also remove the screen to have access to that flex cable. Once those flex cables have been peeled back, we see a 3D layer of graphite which runs underneath the battery and the motherboard to help transfer heat. There's additional copper tape over here and the earpiece speaker is located on top which is also held down with some adhesive. For anyone worried about accidentally inserting the SIM ejector tool in the wrong hole, on this phone you don't need to worry since both the bottom and top filters as well as the microphones are seated above the holes and they won't get damaged. For the repairability score on this phone I give it a 4.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply a new adhesive and reapply the back cover. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.